Okay. Um, whatever the reasons that you wrote down was, okay, and, and if some of you are guilty of this, uh, you know, um, don't blame on the circumstances, okay? Don't blame on your circumstances. <laughs> All right? Don't blame on things that are outside of your control, <laughs> okay? And take responsibilities. Take responsibility, okay? I mean, you know, take responsibility and, and, and you know, blame yourself for whatever you're lacking, whatever you're not having enough of, whether it's skills or money or whatever, because all of those things could be acquired. You know, um, losers always find excuses. Winners always find a solution in everything. I, um, I was talking to one of my assistants um, recently where he made, a, he made a big mistake. Cost us a lot of money. And, and at first I was very mad. Um, but I, you know, before I say anything, I, I, let it, I, I waited a day to calm down. And then I... Um, you know, and, then, and, 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 and so I decided, to, look, I'm not going to get mad about this. I'm going to find a solution. So, so I turned it into a, a, a good thing. Uh, I experimented a new strategy. And, um, and then when I talked to him the next day, I told him what he did wrong. I told him, you know, how, um, how, I, was, how I was very disappointed. But here's the solution I came up with. And he asked me, he goes, uh, Tim, aren't you going to get mad at me? I go, I go, only losers um, cry over spoiled milk, okay? Winners turns it into yogurt and sells it for more money. And he says, <laughs> he says, I've never heard of that analogy before. Uh, but, but it's true, you know? That, that's, I mean, that's just the way you have to think. That's just the way you have to, to, to go with life because life is always going to challenge you. Uh, challenge you. Okay, life is always going to throw things at you that you don't like, that, that's out of your comfort zone. You just got to, you know, you just got to take the high road and say, hey, look, I'm going to make a good situation out of this. How can, how can I make a better situation out of this? Okay, so I thought that was a pretty cool, pretty cool analogy because it, it's actually that way, right? <laughs> All right, um, you know, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Okay, any job, always work hard on yourself, educate yourself, reward yourself, you know, always work harder on yourself than you do on your job, okay, because then that's how you're going to grow out of that job. That's how you're going to grow out of that business into something greater. Um, and don't wait for circumstances to change, okay, you change. Once you change, your circumstance, your circumstance is going to change for you, you know. If you're, if you're stuck in a, in a dead-end job right now, you change. Don't wait for that job to get better. Don't wait for that company to become Google because it's not going to happen. There's only one Google. <laughs> um, you know, don't wait for it to change. You change. You, you get out of that. Okay? And, um, you know, Jim Rohn has a saying, and I have to put my glasses on to see it. <laughs> um, in order for things to change, you must change. An awesome saying, you know. Jim Rohn is uh, Jim Rohn is one of my uh, my favorite, um, you know. I don't know, life guru, mentor. I mean, he he has so much wisdom. It's pretty incredible. All right, so to to help you, you know, to to, to help you make changes. The way we make changes is um, is, is is by stirring up our emotions because. Uh, you know, that's how we make the biggest change. And so I want to do this exercise real quick. And, 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 you know, now that you wrote down what you, ha what you hated in your life and, and you wrote down why, um, I, I want you to, like, really, really stir up that emotion. Like, really hate it. Okay? And we're going to scream out loud so, like, nobody can really hear you because everybody's going to be screaming here. Um, and... <laughs> And, and, w and you're going to say, I'm changing today because I've had had it with 
whatever it is. Okay? Or you can say, I'm changing it today because I'm sick and tired of blank. Wh whatever it is that you're like totally sick and tired of. Okay? And don't worry, your neighbor's not going to hear you. Because it's, I mean, uh, it works every time. <laughs> All right? And I want to do this. I, I, I want to stir up this emotion because from this point on forward, I want to have all of the positive energy in this room as possible so that way, you know, that way we, we can get you um, to that next, to, to, the next, to take that next step and, and, and get you well on your way to success. Okay, so you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so um, I'll count to three and we'll all say, you know, and you can pick whichever one you want to say, okay, well, whatever your, <laughs> whatever feels, uh, uh, re whatever resonates more with you. All right, so one. Two, three. I'm changing today because I'm sick and tired of. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Good job. Um, yeah, I mean, do that, you know. Um, I, um, I, I actually do this all the time uh, at home. When, 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 I'm, when I'm stuck with something and I'm like, gosh, you know, how can I like, just get out of this? And then I find a way to like stir up my emotion uh, so much that I like almost punch the wall and says, you know, I'm so sick and tired of this. I'm going to make this change now. I'm going to make this change quickly. And you know, I, I do this for whether it's you know, you know, staff issues or whatever the issues that like, like I, you know, where it gets to the point where I'm dragging it on too long. I need to do something about it. So I try to stir up this emotion to force that out of me.